Hey VC, what's going on? I uh, just got back from the flea market and uh, got quite a few records to run through here real quick. Uh, I'm going to try to do them as quick as possible so that I can make a short video. So I won't talk a lot about them. But I'll just kind of go through them. Got the soundtrack to Dragnet right here. The original drag. well, I don't know what... 1980, 1987 Dragnet movie soundtrack. Got uh, this other bag. Got <laughs> one called Normal by Martin Mull, who was a is a famous uh, comedian actor. He uh, was on the show Roseanne and various. He's had guest spots on various different TV shows. He's a really humorous guy, so that'll be really fun to that'll be really fun to go through. My grandma is coming back in the house but our dog's going absolutely insane. So that's what you hear if you hear it. Uh got a Barbara Mandrill to add to the collection. This is the Midnight Oil. This is one I've been looking for. So I'm really happy to get this and these are all in like just really good. These records are all in, all in really good condition, as far as I'm aware. You know, they look good to me. They look just awesome, quality wise. A little scratchy, but as far as I don't think it's gonna affect. It's not gonna affect the playing ability at all. This one's a little scratchy. Most of them are in really good condition, so I was really really happy to see that. Our dogs are going crazy. Next one is, uh, next one, I'll get it out of the bag, is uh, Terry Gibbs. I've got her debut album, so I thought I would add this to the collection. She didn't have very many. So, this is uh, Terry Gibbs, uh, I'm a Lady. So, again, I don't know anything about the album, but I like her, vo her voice is really good. Turn the light on so it makes it a little bit better looking in here. Not so grainy of a video, it's kind of low light in here. Looking forward to getting my new camera because I've heard it shoots really nice in low light, so I'm really happy that it's going to be really good. Okay, next one's a movie soundtrack. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it looked interesting, so kind of like a, I don't know if it's a, kind of looks like a karate movie or something. Nah, it may just be a love story, I don't know, but I've never heard of it. Maybe somebody in the VC has got it or know about it. Uh, American Anthem. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm not even sure who, I'm not even sure who was in it, so, Mitch Gaylord and Janet Jones, oh. okay, I don't know, we'll go on, get, get some more in here, got, uh, Carly Simon, uh, Playing possum, Carly Simon. So, pretty cool deal. Got a couple of her albums already, so I had her collection too. Uh, got a Linda Ronstadt, and I know Sean uh, Benfield shows a lot of Linda Ronstadt. And this is actually in pretty decent condition too. This is one that I didn't have. I have several of hers, but this is one that I did not happen to have. Next, we've got uh, Shelly West's uh, Jose Cuero. It's got, it's got the song Jose Cuero. The album is uh, West by West. And somebody went and wrote their name up here. I'll leave it, but I hate when people do that. But at the time, they didn't know it was going to be people like me and vinyl collectors trying to get their hands on their stuff. So, I... Uh, can't do anything about it. I try to get it off, but I doubt I can. If anybody knows how to take Sharpie off of a vinyl, off of a record album cover, let me know. Because I don't know. Another one by the same person, by the same uh, artist or same uh, owner is uh, Jane Howard. She's a oh, uh, 
Grand Ole Opry star. Um, has been around for here comes my dog for a really long time. So now you get to now you get to see my dog in the video. This is Zuma, everybody. Look, turn her around so you can see. Look, there's Zuma. There's Zuma. Look over here. Look in the camera. Hi. Look in the camera. Look in the camera. Right here. Right. Right there. Say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> okay. Back to where I was. Back to where I was. Okay, but anyway, that was Jan Howard. It was a record, later uh, record of hers. This one I'm really happy about. This is, uh, What Am I Gonna Do About You? It's Reba McIntyre's, uh, one of her early, early albums. In just really good condition, too, so. Again, really happy with that. <laughs> there it goes to them. Okay, this one, and I don't know anything about this, and I just bought it because it looked interesting. Looks kind of like a 70s like rock band or some kind. That's on Capri Capricorn Records is what it's on. And again, I don't know anything about that album or about that uh, that that uh, label. But uh, it's Grinder Switch. So if anybody knows anything about this, let me know. Uh, and then I'll listen to it. And if I don't like it, maybe somebody wants it and they can have it. I'll do a trade or some kind of thing. Next one, real quick. Get into the seven minute mark. I hope the video doesn't lose on me. This is uh, Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton. It's a uh, duet album that I guess they put out. Probably late 70s, 1980, so I'm close. And then the last one from this bag, anyway, is um, another Herb Albert. A lot of people love seeing Herb Albert in the VC, so got another Herb Albert to uh, add to my collection. On to the next bag. We got uh, Freddy Fender. This is uh, before the next teardrop falls. Good condition. So, happy about that. I like Freddie Fender. I like his voice. I always kind of thought it was unique. Got uh, Reverend Al Green. Uh, the Lord will make a way. So, don't have any Al Green, but it's a good, way. It's a good place to start right there, I thought. Um, next one is a Mo Bandy album that I did not have. Uh, it's a cheating situation. I didn't have this. I have a few of his. And I didn't have this one, so I picked it up in pretty good shape. So I'm really happy about that, too. Got uh, Ronnie Millsap, Kentucky Woman. Doesn't have an inner sleeve, but I can fix that. I've got one at the house, and it's in good condition, so. That's going to be pretty interesting to listen to. It sounds like a really early on buckboard whatever that is somebody circled house of the rising sun on it i'm assuming it's the like the old animals house of the rising sun uh but uh, so that'll be fun to listen to once i get it cleaned up uh the next one is um another freddy fender this is uh if you're ever in Texas, Freddy Fender. Uh, next one is uh, Sammy Smith. Today I started loving you again. Cover's kind of beat, but the record's actually in really good shape, so I couldn't couldn't pass that up. I like her voice, so I thought it might be uh, fun to listen to. So next one. Mac Davis, Stop and Smell the Roses. I've got a couple of Mac Davis, so this will be cool to add to the collection. I'm not a huge Mac Davis fan, but then again, I haven't listened to a whole lot of his stuff, so I'd say if, maybe if I listen to it, I could get into it. And this covers a little beat, so I'll have to repair it a little bit, but that can be done, too. Uh, the next one is uh, T.G. Shepard's Greatest Hits in really good condition. Got the shrink on it and everything. Um, so, 
I'm really happy to have this. This is really cool. Cool picture of him on the back. Awesome. Good stuff. Next one. We're getting close to the end here, folks. Pick this up. Never had a Whitney Houston album. Ever. So, pick that up. Thought that'd be kind of fun to listen to. Everybody knows what Whitney does, so, or did, rather. A little picture of her in the back. Little baby. Let's see if I get the camera tuned in right. There it is. Picture of her. It's a, this is a, I guess it's just called Whitney. <laughs> Might be her first album, personally. I don't know. Uh, next one is um, Juice Newton. The album Dirty Looks. I don't know anything about this album, but I like her a lot, so, uh, this is a late, this looks like a later release of some, you know, later in her career, so I don't, I don't know if I know any of these songs, but I like her, so that'll be fun. Next one, the one I was really happy about, this one's just called Glenn Travis Campbell, add this to my Glenn Campbell collection, I've got a huge Glenn Campbell collection, love his music. And I plan on getting his new album uh, soon. It's called uh, I'll See You There. And this one is just in really pretty decent condition for as old as it is. I don't know. This might not be an original pressing, but it's uh, still good to have. It doesn't have the doesn't seem to have the date on it. But uh, that'd be fun. Fun to listen to him, him sing early stuff. Next one's Nancy Sinatra, which Frank's, as you know, Frank Sinatra's daughter. She had some pretty good hits in the 60s and 70s. And again, I don't know what's on this one. Um, didn't really look at it, so. Uh, just got some old stuff on it. Old, so, sounds like it might be some old, uh, Covers and stuff like that. This is uh, David Gates. Everybody knows David Gates from Bread. So that's a, say, uh, a, a solo album that he put out. I well, couldn't pass that up. Two bucks. These are all, by the way, these are all two dollars each. So I got a lot for two dollars. And finally, well, this is not finally, I've got one more record in here, but finally, eh, I uh, got me an upgrade copy in shrink to. Finally, I got me an upgrade copy of Andy Gibbs Shadow Dancing. I've been searching for an upgrade copy for quite some time, and this one is just fantastic. In the sh it's in fantastic shape, so won't have to be getting this one again for quite some time. It's on RSO, so I'm really happy to have that. I've got three copies now, but at least this one's a really good one. I'm gonna label. I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll label the one that's in really good shape and put a little note on it seeing which one's the best one. And finally, for the day, uh, got a little bit of soft rock happening with Ambrosia. This is uh, Life Beyond L.A. So, and it's in good shape too, so really happy to get that. So with that, I say good afternoon. And everybody have a good day. And I will catch you up on the Facebook wall. Later, guys. Peace.